Hello, and yes, we finally managed it out on walk. I don't have a fine sheen of perspiration around my weary brow yet this morning because it's fairly chilly, but we've been running around like crazy. But um, we're finally out, which is a good thing. And this is exactly what I've been waiting for for the last couple of months. I've really, really missed the bushwalk. And uh, our plan is just to head off into the wild blue yonder and see what we can see. I know Ali's got some lions that she's been showing you. There's been some lions roaring around this morning we've taken a bit of a, 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 a tour up to the gary mast there were some tracks on the floor they looked like a hyena could have been wild dog there's been some wild dog around so who knows what we're going to be finding this is the dry season here in the sabi sands and of course the best thing about the dry season in the sabi sands is the sand river which lies not too far away right over there and that is a massive draw card for a bunch of elephants at the last winter census that they did there was over 800 elephant in this area during the dry season and that is exactly what we're in at the moment this gray cloudy damp weather is the herald of the season to change of course our spring day was on the 1st of September and um, and uh, we can only expect more of these gray overcast cloudy days as we go uh, as we go ahead and uh, and as we basically enjoy the change of the season what I'd like to do is just give you a snapshot of this is the quarantine clearings. It's a clearing that we come out to almost every morning on the bushwalk and you will see that this will feature, this, this open area, this clearing will feature heavily in the months to come. And what I invite you to do is just take a snapshot of, uh, of this area, take a screenshot, save it under your, save it under a file that says, I don't know, um, what, end of September 2018 and correspond it with the end of January or even the 1st of January 2018, sorry, 20, September 2017. I'm, I'm living in different worlds at the moment. September 2017 versus January 2018. And you'll notice that where we're walking right now will be an absolute field of green to the point where we'd have to actually be lifting up our legs to walk across this open area. To walk uh, unobstructed like this is going to be a difficult thing. This now is a field. Last year we didn't have too many of it. This is the devil's thorn, or the, um, or well, we make we make uh, uh, soap out of it, and it grows from this plant here. You can see this now. This has been trampled on, and it's been abused a little bit by the animals living on here. But this is a very healthy plant, actually. You can see it here. One of the healthiest that are around, and they give they give rise to this thorn here, the devil's thorn. Named because of those two horns that you can see. There we go. And it is perfectly suited to be distributed by cloven hoofed animals. The thorn itself sticks not too deep into the hoof of an animal. It's a very robust thorn. And then that scalloped rounded seed pod that you can see there is so that it doesn't snag on anything and that's how the seed disperses itself to a new area it gets stuck to an animal's hoof or to the pad on an elephant's pad and basically the animal battles to brush it off because of this shape and when it finally does fall off it's further away from its parent root so what i'll do is i'll show you these things are remarkably effective at dispersing themselves so let's put one down there on the floor there are lots of them here actually so we can put down two there step on it didn't go through my shoe and as you can see i've picked one up and i'm walking with it underneath my foot there you can see it there and as I'm walking, I can feel that there's something there. I'm trying to brush it off. Not working. And eventually, it comes off somewhere here. It fell off somewhere here. And that's exactly how it gets planted. So the animal brushes off the seed, but at the same time puts it into the sand. And that's where the new sheep's thorn or devil's thorn will grow. Isn't that amazing?